Hi gamers, mums and dads, this is Criddler Gaming, and this is a very, very basic save the world tutorial. So, I'm um, using my daughter's account because she doesn't play the game. Um, I'm on the level 69 on save the world. Um, but if you play Battle Royale a lot, this does seem a bit confusing when you start. It was for me when I first played it a couple of months ago. So, what we're going to do is just talk you through the very basics of save the world. Now, you have to forget pretty much everything you know about Battle Royale, um, apart from the building and the controls, which are the same. Now, in Save the World, there's three main parts to it. The first part is your home base. That is where you live and what you need to protect against the husks. And every now and again, you need to defend that to increase the scope of the storm, which allows you then to do more missions. The second part is, are the missions themselves, which are varied in between um, anything from... Uh, protect the atlas uh, to the um, defend the van etc etc as you'll see now the save of the world has just started here behind me um, what it's doing is just running through a, a brief uh, cartoon which you can watch uh, while that's playing and uh, the game is loading uh, I'll talk you through the third part which is the sort of the background so you have um, cards schematics survivors defenders heroes there's a lot going on in this game and uh, you know, this is the very basic first what do I do in the first half an hour of playing because when you do load it up you think what, what am I doing here so we'll just uh, run through the animation now uh, the first thing that happens is a tutorial comes up which gives you a, a brief guide to what you need to do Right, so we've skipped through the uh, the introduction. Now here I have, um, as you can see, same as Battle Royale. Really, we've got the the uh, pistol selected, and what we need to do is just get some husks. So you just shoot them, just like you would do in Battle Royale. Uh, if you're brand new to Fortnite completely, you, you just press RT um, on the Xbox controller. And once we take these husks out, that should be the end of the first tutorial. Now you can see on the right hand side we have a little tick in the box. That's quite a useful a uh, panel that comes up all the time in all your missions. Now we need to find a way out, so this is just to, um, to practice your manoeuvring really. Um, you'll see also we've got a pickaxe, as well as a pistol, um, and this is just a little mission to, to get us out, so pressing Y now to hold down the pickaxe, and RT, same as shoot, to, to destroy it. So this is just giving you a bit of a tutorial how to get out of the cave, which is, is pretty much straightforward. So we're just going to exit here to go on to the next phase of the tutorial. Let's try to find the way out. It's been a while since I did this myself. So now we've come out, you can see now a treasure chest and a little explanation mark has appeared in the box in the top right hand corner. One thing I've uh, noticed recently is above the explanation mark is a tiny little up arrow which shows you that it's a Above you. Uh, build is just the same as in Battle Royale, um, if not just to have a play with uh, the controls it does tell you, as you can see Y there to, to scroll between them um, and the shoot button to build it. So we've built a little slope and now we can open up the chest. Just hold, hold down X to get these goodies. So that is what is in the chest. So on the left hand side you'll have seen things rotate round. It says now we need a bigger gun. So one of the things that is massively different to the battle royale is the crafting element. So what you have to do, uh, you can smash cars to get metal. Uh, cars are also useful for nuts and bolts which help um, craft bullets. You've got wood. And as you're smashing this here, listen to Ray the robot telling you exactly what you can do with these things. We need to smash a couple of trees, we need one more car, a rusty car. On the right hand side you can see it says find 3 out of 4, so we've done 4 of those now. And finally, uh, a new feature of the game is that the things you need are slightly highlighted. You can see there's a sort of red, sorry, a golden glow around this tree, because we need them. Uh, let's, say, let's just take down the 4 trees. Oh, it says we've got enough now. So to craft on the Xbox you press the, uh, the 2 uh, square symbol. And you say we have a gun here which is a, an assault rifle. On the left hand side you'll see the ingredients, so we need six nuts, four parts and four bits of twine which we've just harvested from the trees. So to craft it, all I need to do is press A. So what this will do is craft the gun and now instead of a pistol we have got the assault rifle which does look a bit like the other version of the game. So that's your uh, Kenji awarded. 
to open the map you just press the up here now we can see we've got some survivors um, here on the right hand side so you can move your control around until you point to it and then you can run now further in the game you can craft a hoverboard which just speed up the game quite a lot it was quite a useful thing that uh, Fortnite save the world put into it you might have just quickly seen a number one there appear and that is the health and the level of the enemies that we're attacking you can see little red dots in the top right hand corner now and they are the bad guys so we've got another bit of animation so the main reason for this tutorial is just to, to get us to our home base to show you exactly what you have to do when you start off so we've got to protect our base for 30 seconds this is one of the the main things we do in the game is, is protect things. So these are level one and it's got like half health so I can shoot shoot them down and eventually they'll be destroyed. So we've got like 18 seconds to survive. Now in the top left hand corner you can see I've got some shield. These numbers you know, get quite large in the game. 100,000 is, is quite common in the harder levels. Depending on who you're playing with and what level you're on, the um, your shield and your health does change. Now we've defended the fort for the set period of time. You're not that What's we have a bit more animation to do. Now what the game is going to do now is teach us about traps. Now there is the, the one trap in Battle Royale, but in this there's plenty and traps are really useful to, to getting rid of husks. So what we need to do is go back to our screen and there's a, a little trap icon here, which is the, the fourth one along. So if you press RT, you can just see next to them that you can scroll through and it gives you the, the buttons that you need. If you look at RB and LB, that'll be across the top. So again, if I press A to, to select this trap, um, to place it, I just press RT to put it down. Let's pop another one here and a third one here. So it's asked us to do three, which we've done on the right hand side. And now we need to head inside the bunker, which I am guessing is up here. Conversation going on, you'll recognise these people a lot more as the game goes on. Get a nice chest here, a few more bits. Oh, a nice rocket launcher. Now, you might have just noticed it said copper there. Um, now, we want to edit the, the door uh, just like any other version of the game, so we just cut out the middle two squares. I'm rushing through this as I want to keep the video nice and neat and short. So it's more about when we get to the uh, get inside the home base is what I want to show you. Just waiting for the people to talk. Steps here. So it wants us to launch a rocket. So now we found the rocket. We can find the explosion mark and press X to launch it. This is completely different to the majority of the game. This is just an animation to talk you through. So now in the game there's something called Blue Glow, and you can see here, and you usually need a lot of this to power instruments in the game, so you go around finding it. Sometimes you have to uh, whack a troll to get some. Sometimes there's a siphon which you can need to protect to get the Blue Glow. You can see it on the top left-hand corner, so top right-hand map, um, you can see all these little blue elements. So I've got three of it now. Three is it? a normal amount you need, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's two, more than one in cases. So I've got the blue glow and I'm just going to pop it there into our little trap. Right, so now it's asking me to go outside the fort. Some ammo boxes here which are useful. Ammo is critical in this game because you use a lot of it with a lot of husks. You can craft it, so you usually need a bit of metal and a bit of wood to craft it. Back outside our door that we made. Just running around for here through to see there's a little electrician mark there on the top right hand corner. So now here come all our baddies. Now this is a bigger husk, you don't get these at the very start of the game, but that's called a smasher, and as you can see it, it does a bit of damage to your fort. So now the task here is just to protect the fort for two minutes. Uh, you do that just by shooting the baddies, keeping things safe. You can build as well. So if we build there, the husks will come and try and knock that down. Now the husks aren't very smart, as you'll see from our other videos. I've walked around here so they're coming to get me, but if I just hover over the traps a bit, the traps will take them out. 
The traps all do different amount of damage as you level up objects, which is one of the useful things here. We'll start on level 1, but when you get XP, you can get the traps up higher and higher. See, these traps have taken quite a few of them out. So let's just quickly run through these two minutes. I might fast forward it and see how it goes. And my health is on 484. So that does seem tiny, as you'll see when we get into the main version of the game. But these are level 1 husks. You can see I'm doing 13 damage per bullet. And if I go onto the pistol, uh, 23, so it's a bit more on the pistol. So even though it says we've crafted a better gun, it's, it's actually got so uh, pistol's got more damage. You can see the husks here breaking the wall. This is what they do slowly. Um, again, depending on your level and depending on the husks, you know, there's different ways that they break down. And I'm just going to watch them here. Eventually, as you can see, it's breaking. It's going to smash right. So the husks smash through there, and they're going to follow me round. So this is on the time limit, so we need. We need 30 seconds. Um, it's saying to me, um, why don't you use an airstrike? So you get these these added bonuses, these gadgets. So if I press left here, I can bring down an airstrike. So that'll come blow up a few husks. So there's a lot more going on in this than, than in the Battle Royale game. And this is just a tutorial. So we've got 10 seconds ready to finish this level off. Um, other guns are shooting them again. This is just part of the tutorial. This is showing you how to play the game. I think that is now completed. It will take us through to the first bit and the main thing I wanted to show you on this tutorial. I'll mark the time here so we're pop in the comments the exact time to skip through if you don't want to actually see all the animation. Right, so we skipped through a bit of animation here and now we're in the main bulk of the game. The only thing we've done that wasn't on the video is just to name our home base. Now, we have levels here. You can LT and RT through them. Press the right button and show you the missions that are coming up. Uh, in the Stonewood quest, there's 10 pages and we're on the first page. Now, when I first started this, I'm like, what am I doing now? It's just like a completely different game. So, as I say, the first part of the game is to protect your home base. So, I'm just going to click on here. We have a massive storm now. And what we're trying to do is expand the storm so we get more missions. Now, our home base is tiny here. We've only got this small amount of land. So, what we have to do is build up our home base and uh, get the the power of the home base bigger and that then spreads the storm wider and wider and wider it has 10 levels and you need about six or, you need seven to get onto sort of the, the next land um, but when you expand the home base shield then you get more missions that you can do and complete and the wider the storm gets the harder the missions get they, they each have levels so what we're doing here is we're going to protect our storm shield and this was a bit I'm thinking when I first started, what am I doing here? So just bob for another bit of animation. Okay, so we've loaded and we've uh, passed through all the animation. Now this is what we are protecting. So this is a small pyramid and there's our storm shield here. So what I need to do is activate the storm and it grows into a bigger a bigger pyramid. And that, this is our mission is to protect this. So although this is only level one, which is quite straightforward, when you get up to the bigger levels, as you can see, you can build fancy forts. Now that's a bit better than what I'll ever do, but this is sort of the what you're trying to aim at. So that's going to disappear now. That was quite neat because that was quite new when I first uh, started uh, this game. So what you need now is you need brick, like so. Let's just pickaxe it. And then you can see my brick's gone up to 28. And I've got trees, I've already got 126, so now I'm over about 150 now. Now it's 10 pieces per panel, so what I want to do here is let's, um, oh it's asked me to collect a supply drop. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'll open up this here. You do not see many supply drops in this version of the game. Um, all it's done now is give us a piece of, um, um, it's given us more materials. So what we want to do now is I'm going to move on to metal because that's the strongest and it's telling us to build so what we need to build is round the storm shield so we'll quickly uh, pop these uh, complete blocks around as you can see there's a little blueprint that they want you to do so you can see there it's all four or nine blocks you can edit it to be a bit less but let's just do as we're told and that way we'll move on to the next part so it's a lot more confusing than you'd think first so now it wants us to create a block but with the two door pieces missing so we can just 
put it down as normal and then you can edit it to remove those two pieces. Um, so now I have a, a square with the, two, the door missing, so it automatically builds you a door which goes in, in and out when you've got these two here. So now what it wants us to do is put some floor down, so we can do the same here. I'll switch actually to wood or brick because the floors don't tend when they're just pieces of floor to get hurt so much. So we've put the floors in. Now you have to put a bit of floor down to put a trap on top of it. So that's what it wants to do. And we've also got ceilings which is the same panel. Now ceilings are useful because what you can do is put traps on them as well so you get ceiling traps that you can get traps coming down from the ceiling and from the floor and also from the wall so you could really get the, the husks do some quite damage here. Now what it wants us to do is pop some traps down so if you select a piece and just press X uh, you can use a wooden piece or let's go for these spikes they look more useful so let's pop these traps down here. We've built the floor to put the traps down so so now what it wants us to do is put a little bit of protection outside here but the, it wants us to put a small wall down because then we can see what's going on we can see all the bad guys so um, I'm going to flip over to metal again because that's the hardest to break and let's just select the bottom three so you can see our building DVD uh, our DVD our building YouTube shows my age to um, show you how to build everything quite quickly so now it wants this wants us to do is place one more trap so let me just construct one here so go into the crafting panel and go across to the trap and let's select um, a trap here we've got so we've got the floor here so, we'll that down there. so I think now after all of this all the cartoons all the tutorial this is a bit we wanted to show you so this is our home base yeah, it's looking okay It's asking us to throw a grenade now, so we're still not quite there, but there we go. Nicely done. Looks like we're ready to defend. If you're Are we ready to defend? Are we sure? Are we gonna go for this? As long as you have enough of the matching material. You may want to craft some more ammo, but after that, you're all set. So to craft ammo, if, if you do need it, you go over to the tab here and you need nuts and bolts, which you get mainly from cars, so you see you need two from these. Um, you need to check what bullets we're using, so the pistol is using these bullets and the, uh, well in fact both guns are, so this is the one we want. So we press A, we can craft a few of those until our nuts and bolts run out. Uh, so you can see now we've got 1.38k pistol bullets, um, and that's going up There's slightly, a couple more AR ones because there's some in the gun itself, but that's, that's how it works. So. So now what we want to do is the actual thing we're here for, and that is to defend our home base. So if we go into the home base, you'll see there's a, an access area here. So you press X here. You can send a request for help, which is always worth doing, but seeing as this is the first level, I think we'll be okay to expand the shield. So I'm just going to press A. So now the shield power is increasing, and if we defend this fort, that means that the storm itself is going to expand and we'll have more area for, for missions to face. At the moment there's no mission so we have to do this. This is level one. So what it's shown us here now is one of the, the husks, the bad guys. This is a picture. So he throws bones at you which you pretty much have to get out of the way. They've got pretty low health. So what's happening now is you can see defend the storm three minutes pretty much. So all we need to do now is pick our gun, find our bad guys and get rid of them. You don't have to get rid of them, the main thing is to defend. So what they're after, reload, take a few of these out. What they're after is they're after to smash down all these walls and eventually when they smash these walls they will touch this storm shield. Once they touch the storm shield, the shield will lose some power. So let's see if we can get one of these guys. See, they're just walking along onto the traps. The traps are well worth protecting so they didn't even get to the home base. So let's see if any of these guys are going to come in and do us any damage. The traps take a while to reload, so that if there's a lot of them, they can walk over. When this guy you can zoom in, just like with the LT, and you can take out the husks. Now there's not many husks here, there's only a few. On some levels there's hundreds of them, you can hardly move for them. So we'll be prepared for a, a lot of... Uh, eliminating um, 
which I suppose if, if you're younger can, can be quite overwhelming, but it's, it's not too bad a game. As you'll notice there's no blood, blood and guts and gore, they just vanish into, into thin air really, turn into this purple mist. Now one of these husks here has got a bit of protection, so he's got this shield on the top there. Um, the shield's now been exploded off him. Uh, will he get to the fort? No, he won't. The traps have done a, a perfect job. If you look at the trap here, you can see that it's got 24 out of 24 uses. So the one that they've all been walking on has come down to 19 now. So now it's down to 18. So traps do have a certain lifespan. So we've got a minute left now to protect. As you can see, this game is nothing like Battle Royale. This is what you'll be into most of the game. So the tutorial and all the animation, very pretty and very useful for, for new players. But that is not the game. The game is this. You have a home base or a thing to protect. And you're protecting it against the bad guys. For example, these pictures. Um, so we've got another husk now with a shield of protector. If you actually hit the shield guy here at the top, then the husk will become unprotected. If you just hit the husk themselves, then they've just got a bit of extra health because they've got the shield on. Now if you get the husk without the shielder, the shielder will just hang around for another husk to pick it up. So it's always worth getting those bits. A bit more advanced gameplay. But in 15 seconds time, we'll have done our level one. Now you can see on the right, the storm shield, we've got 10, 9, 8 seconds and a nice big long green line. Now that's a long green line because nobody's got through all these traps. So if a husk would have got into here, they don't go through the doors, they actually smash the walls. But if they get into here, that green line would have gone amber and red, depending on the health of your, your home base. Now quite straightforward. What we do now is we see missions here. You press A to continue. And it will give you some experience. So this is your commander experience. When you get to the right hand side and to that hexagon, you get a skill point. And those skill points can be spent on the skill tree to get extra rewards and, and more um, level ups and um, lots of different things in the game which you'll see in a different video. So we've earned a skill point. Now here are the chests. Um, at the end of each level you get a chest, a reward. Um, it goes through, you can see at the bottom, going up to level 2. So we've managed to get to level 3 loot which is pretty normal on this first one because there wasn't much to do. So I press A to continue and when we get to the main screen that chest will open and give us some goodies. Uh, I'll return to the home base. Now once you've done a lot of levels and you get to the end, if you click B a couple of times, it will fast forward going through each of the chests because it does go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you do want to speed up, save yourself 10, 15 seconds, you can press B to skip. So you can see we've got a chest here and in the top right hand corner we've got another reward. So we've got two things to look forward to here. In the chest we've got a llama and they're very useful in this game and some experience. And the other thing that we've been awarded is the fact that we've beaten the the shield so we've been given 100 V-Bucks and a shotgun and some G for our trouble. Those V-Bucks can be used in either version of the game so um, you know, if you want to save up using the V-Bucks in this game for your Battle Royale skins then you're more than welcome to whether they'll change that because now this is a free version of the game we'll see. Now what you do next then what it wants to do is, is get us to claim the reward. So on the loot tab at the top, which RBLB will take you across, you can claim your llamas. Now, when you, if you bought the game or you upgrade the game, you get some llamas with it. Now, in the llamas are treats. So if you hit the llama, they can go silver and gold sometimes, which are like uh, um, extra special llama. So silver llama has more in it. And then a the gold llama is you know, the legendary llama, which is full of loot. We've got gold experience and we've got a couple of extra weapons and a trap. So now it's given us a free llama, an upgrade llama, which is usually 50 V-Bucks, but we've got one for free, so we might as well claim it. So the llama comes down, we press A, and then we can speed it up by holding down A. You see all the goodies that you get. We'll go through each of the goodies in different videos. This is just a, how do we start the game? We've only got one thing left to do, really. And that now is to go onto the quest trap, quest screen. It's given us some other goodies here and taking us through a mini tutorial, which uh, we'll go through in more detail later. So let's just go on to the skill tab. We want, earned a skill point by going through the, um, the first mission. We got the one, so we can just purchase this. So it's just a constructor. It's given us lots of goodies. So we've got brick, metal, wood. Um, game is still on the skill tree. Just trying to get through to the game itself. So what we've done now is 
it's taken us now onto the mission. So if we go onto the map, you can see we now have a level, level one. So this is Fight the Storm Atlas. So we've got a video on what to do with the Atlas, I'm showing you a quick build, which is useful. Now this is a mission. Now when we've completed this mission, we'll get what shows you on the left, the hero XP, schematic XP and gold. And what we need to do is just work through each of these missions. So we've got a before and after science. This is quest page one. We'll go through to two, three, four, all the way up to uh, stage 10. Now you can see here, we've got home base storm shield defense six. And if we go back, we've got five, four, three, etc. Now every now and again in the game, you have to stop and go back to your home base um, to, to expand the shield. And when you've expanded the shield, you get the more missions to do. When you get onto the different levels like Canny Valley, you don't have this nice useful quest page to go through. You just have to just keep doing missions as it selects. But to start the game now, um, just go onto the mission here, press A to select it and then um, have fun. So what you have to do is find the Atlas, put a shield around it and then just defend it. You can see we've got other friends here coming to help us. And that is the game. So this is a very basic. Uh, sorry it took a long time to get through to exactly what you need to do. Um, but Run through the tutorial, um, protect your home base, and then do the Fight the Storm mission. Um, any comments, pop them below, and we'll make lots of videos on all the different types of levels. So if you want to see how to do the Fight the Storm level, just have a look for our Atlas video. We'll pop a, a link below. It's a nice, easy mission. You just find the Atlas, put a bit of blue glow in it, build around it, and then protect it by eliminating the husks. So this is uh, Save the World. It's a superb game once you get through the basics and see exactly what you need to do. As you can see through the tabs, we've got heroes, we've got squads to build, you've got armory with all your guns in them, and you've got your heroes and your survivors and your skill trees, collection books. There's so much going on in this game and we will break it down bit by bit. But uh, So this is just a very basic, so what do I do? So do the tutorial, do the home base, and then do the Atlas level and work your way through. So um, hope you find that useful. Um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. See you later.